Well, hey there, happy Red Shirt Friday. And today I am joining you all the way from Tampa. I am checking out their VA hospital out here visiting a friend. I would show you her, but she's eating right now. Hi. We'll just say, hey, Kelly. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so I want to be super quick. This week has been phenomenal. Today was an absolutely beautiful Friday. And I want to thank y'all. Y'all are bringing in some presents. You're bringing in some door prizes. You're dropping off some um, adult beverages for our Yeti. And a lot of y'all are kind of asking questions about the different things. Uh, feel free to pop in the pink door, visit me, give me a call, or uh, send me a message in the Facebook Messenger. Um, as far as uh, what kind of door prizes we need or um, baskets or anything like that, and if y'all could hear me, please give me a thumbs up because I can't tell from where I'm at today. Um, Anything that is a value, somebody was going to go around the different restaurants and then they were going to create kind of like a basket that said, um, you know, like the downtown Claremont area. And these are all the restaurants and stuff like that. Um, we'll be happy to take those. We just got a gift card, I think, from Claremont Brewing. Um, so that's going to be kind of cool. I've been there. Uh, they actually have food I could eat as well as the beer. <laughs> um, so... And last, on Wednesday, I talked about the Lake County Rowing Association, and they're also collecting door prizes. So I'm going to touch on Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation's Bras for the Cause, the Lake County Rowing Association, and the American Legion um, Post fundraisers. Any of the door prizes, any of the baskets, any value that we can um, put available and um, has a dollar value that will help us raise money. All three of these nonprofits the money goes to them. So if for GCCF, 100% of what we raise goes to the cancer families that, um, whether it's going for the grants that they raise, um, if it's the money that we're raising for American Legion, we're doing a couple of different fundraisers. So you'll know which one. Right now we're doing one for um, the Claremont Battalion Sea Cadets and raising money for a um, screen porch. And then of course we have the, what was the other one? Oh, Lake County Rowing Association. They're a 501c3, and those for, for the kids, they're raising money for travel. Like, they just broke those two um, awesome world records, and they just need kind of help for equipment as, as well. So please know that if you come in and you tell me, hey, this, is, this donation is for this person, I'm going to make sure that they get it. Um, I had a few people asking me, and of course, as I'm here at the VA hospital, I'm going to remember that, yes, we do need to collect uh, some items. Please remember that if you can get me the smaller items, this way they can be more of a travel package. Even something like this, check this out. How cool is that? Even something like this, that would be super awesome. We've got people that have um, put them in purses for the lady veterans. And then also we have um, the larger ones. Those we're gonna go and donate to Boggy Creek. So anything that you ever donate, we never let it go to waste. Um, so the 25th, I've told people, let's celebrate my birthday. Let's go join a nonprofit ride. And we are going to do 100 miles around the Green Swamp. So for those that say that's a long ride, we're going to have a little break in between. And then we're going to have breakfast at the American Legion Post in downtown Claremont. Um, I don't have the prices yet, but for if you're going to join the ride, it's $15 for rider and $15 for passenger. All of that money is going to go towards the uh, Claremont uh, cadets. And then we're gonna have the breakfast while y'all are waiting there. Kickstand's up at 10. We're gonna head on out, ride around uh, and check out the area. And again, that's $15 each. I do not know the amount for lunch, but after the ride, we're gonna have lunch. We're gonna have some, a band is gonna come out and play some music. And of course, some adult beverages, maybe a 50-50. Um, so come on out, buy some door prizes, some chance tickets. And if you have any questions about the Sea Cadets, or I believe they're all gonna be there, I think the Sea Cadets are gonna actually be making breakfast, so come on out. And um, those of you that wanna volunteer, we will gladly take your time because we're gonna let the Sea Cadets cook breakfast and lunch, and um, in our new kitchen, we really don't wanna make a mess. <laughs> so come on out and give us a hand. Um, did you know that the Claremont Battalion um, Sea Cadets is a nonprofit organization? They are actually sponsored by the Claremont Police Department. Um, so they do a couple of things throughout the year. They also do um, 
I don't have all the information because I'm actually going by notes this time, um, but they do different things with the Claremont Police. Um, they'll run through some kind of like, what do you call them? Practice runs and stuff like that. But they're not, um, it's not a military recruiting thing. Um, they earn scholarships. They get to learn um, self-confidence. They're part of the STEM programs. Um, and it does help the students um, in kind of get a, if they do decide to be enlisted with the military, they're going to be a, at a higher rank. And of course, that always depends on their actual education and training um, and how much they, they put into it. Now, the young people, they are from ages 11 to 13. So this is a time where they're out there helping the community. And then, um, so I do ask that you can kind of help support them. Come meet them. Learn what, what it is that they're doing. A lot of you guys have only met them when they were doing our Reese Across America and they came out and presented the colors. Um, the Boy Scout troops that we sponsor over at um, Post 55, they are the ones that created the box um, and they, they help us to retire the flags. So they have a retirement um, flag ceremony pretty much every month. So um, if you want to get involved, give us a call. Come meet them on the 25th. They're going to be there pretty much all day. And that's about um, pretty much it on what I have for them. Um, yes, we will um, accept some gift cards, which oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> um, so we do have some Girl Scout cookies. Um, we have some Girl Scouts that are part of the American Legion post that we sponsor. So if y'all are in the mood of a cookie, Come on in and bring them. We also have some of the ladies that are preparing some of the thanks a lot boxes. I believe those are $6 a box. I know, well, even though I'm in Tampa right now, I believe there's a particular Girl Scout that was delivering about, um, I don't know, so many boxes at my house. <laughs> so we should be having some Thin Mints in the, at the office and some thanks a lots. We're going to be delivering those. Um, don't forget, besides that fundraiser, we're also going to have the Valentine's Day dinner from 4 to 6 on the 15th. That's going to be our huge fundraiser for our screen porch for the building. So if you come to our post on 55 and you look to the side, there's a couple of tables there. That's the area that we're going to go ahead and put the screen porch in. So I know a lot of y'all, um, you're afraid to come visit because it's a smoking post. Let me remind y'all, it is a brand spanking new building. There is no smoking inside our building. The smokers are outside. Unfortunately, they don't have a screened in area and that's what we're trying to raise the funds for. Um, that day, we also have Department President Ann. She's gonna come visit, so auxiliary members, if you can come out, she's only gonna be there for about an hour. She wants to see the building and wanna kinda talk to us. I'm trying to bring the ABC school out to our location since now we have space, but 2.15, is uh, dinner from 4 to 6 and department and um, visit is going to be between 1.30 and 2.30. Um, who wants to come out for a Super Bowl party? We got one February 2nd. It's going to start about 4 o'clock. I'm not sure on the food that we're going to have yet. And on January 30th, we're also going to have the National Commander. He's going to come on out um, from 11 to 12. Now, some of y'all are asking about different fundraisers that our building is going to be doing. We're, we're starting, y'all. We just opened up, so give us some time. Plus, I need some volunteers. So if you want to come out, um, if you don't know how to join the auxiliary, I'd be happy to talk to you. I try to go out there a couple times during the week. Um, if I know that you're going to come out, I'll come out and talk to you. We have, um, if you are a veteran and you're joining the American Legion, your first year is free. But it's only $35, and yes, I know, we're probably the only nonprofit organization to be a member you gotta pay, but your money's helping a veteran, so come on. Write that check, write it off. Um, $35, that's all it's gonna be. Now, the auxiliary, remember, it used to be for ladies only, and if you come visit me, we can talk about why it's no longer ladies, and if you don't know why, Check out some of our back videos because we went on and talked about that. That was an awesome thing that changed for us in 2019. Can you believe it? 2020 and we're almost done with the month. I didn't get much of a birthday month. What the hell? <laughs> um, so there, we are planning a spaghetti dinner. We're thinking about doing it at the end of the month. This way it can, can coincide with our end of the um, month um, fundraisers. So if you guys are interested, we're thinking about a spaghetti dinner, something easy, something simple. Um, we're gonna start off slowly that way. If you want to cook or if you wanna have an event, you gotta give us a call and schedule. We've got meetings during the day. 
Um, so let me know what y'all think. A spaghetti dinner is super easy and we can do it for, you know, whether to raise money or just kind of help out in our area. Um, we've got like different meetings during the day, so you'll have to, I can't see on my phone today, so you're going to have to message me or I'll respond back to you as soon as I'm done. Uh, what else are we going to talk about today? Kickstands up on 10.30. Oh, yes, the recycled wreaths. So wreaths across America, all of those wreaths that we placed on the grave sites, they were being picked up, I believe, this weekend. Um, all of y'all um, that offered to volunteer, you should have gotten your call, and you'll be picking those up this weekend. They will be recycled. Some of them went to a farm, and the goats are enjoying their special snack. So that was awesome. Y'all, I told you, we don't waste nothing. We're going to use it, recycle it, give it away, help a donation, turn it into a basket, raise some money. We ain't wasting nothing. Um, let's see. Kind of like somebody brought me some something, something. I didn't like it. I think it was Jim Beam, and I gave it away to GCCF, and they're going to raise some money for it. Ah, trying to think. What else we got, y'all? Hey, guess what? Happy hour is happening at the American Legion Post in downtown Claremont, but I don't have the specific hours. Every day it's a different time. Because we've just opened up, our timing is still kind of not the, um, the same, so we're going to be opening up at noon and we're closed at 10 p.m. unless we're, it, we're having an event, um, like, um, I don't know, one of those events that we have, like bingo. Sometimes we're open a little bit later. If we've got a party going out, we're going to open up a little later. So just make sure you check the website. The happy hours are starting. Of course, today is Red Shirt Friday, y'all. So if you wore your red shirt, you get 25 cents off. If you wore a post-55 red shirt, I think you get 50 cents off. So hey, save some money. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and end this post because I'm going to go ahead and continue to visit my friend here. She's stuck here. I don't know what she ate, but hmm. Yeah. Hospital food, yum, right? <laughs> so what's today, y'all? Today is, guess what, guess what? National Use Your Gift Card Day. So anyone that has those gift cards, y'all are probably broke. <laughs> you spent all your money during Christmas, and now you're digging through your purse and your wallet and your basket. Check out all your gift cards and use them. Remember, the gift cards don't go bad, but if you forget about them, you just um, threw money away. I'm going to go have a shopping weekend. I got one from... Bath and Body, Victoria's Secrets has some purses on sale, so, and I think I have another one. Belks? I'm getting me some new outfits. I need some more red and pink outfits. I done turned these videos into colors and I don't have any colors. So enjoy your gift cards. And then my favorite, today is my favorite. It is National Winnie the Pooh Day. Isn't that awesome? So A.A. Mills? Is that how you say it? Mills? A.A. Mills, um, it's kind of his birthday. He also actually passed away in January. I think it was January 30th. Um, but A.A. Mills in 1882 created the lovable bear Winnie. And a lot of people want to know, is it Winnie, is it female? Winnie is a, is a male? Actually, Winnie was named after um, a black bear in the London Zoo during World War I. But Winnie's name came because he was from Winnipeg, Canada. So as my, Winnie the Pooh is my favorite. I even have a tattoo of him. Um, he's the most adorable character ever. He's just lovely. Um, so he did turn into Disney later on, but he was a lovable story and a lovable bear named um, for Christopher Robin. So check it out. Do some history search. I love Google. It helps me out on these videos. Of course, I always have my little handy dandy notes. And if you have something that you want me to remind people of or community events that you have, remember we got Pink Wednesdays and we start talking about different events going on. Um, if you have something awesome like the Lake County Rowing Association where they broke two world records, let me know. I want to share that information. Y'all want me to continue doing these videos. You got to help me out. I don't know all the information. And I will get you the prices for the, um, the Green Swamp fundraiser. Um, I don't know how much the breakfast and lunch is, but I do know that the to ride is 15 bucks each. And once we have a spaghetti dinner, we'll go ahead and add that. Check out our Facebook page, American Legion Post 55 and American Legion Claremont Unit 55. And if you want to know what the difference between post and unit is, you're going to have to check me out next Friday. And y'all, I think that's about it. We've got a beautiful weekend. 
Um, there's quite a lot of uh, rides being done this week to raise some money, so please be careful. Look twice, save a life. We cannot stop on a dime on our motorcycle, so y'all got to be, be nice. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weather. If you have questions, I will be in the office tomorrow. I've got a couple of people coming in. They want to know about um, how to fix their credit. They're renters, and they want to be able to turn into homeowners. I'm so excited. I love doing new um, first home buyer classes and one-on-ones. And -on you don't have to go to a class to do these. And then by next week, I'm going to have the numbers not only locally of what we did as a Homes for Heroes real estate office giving back to our community, but I'm going to also pull up our numbers nationally. And I cannot wait to tell you about all the different grants that we were able to give away. Y'all hear about Homes for Heroes all the time, and, and sometimes you get us mixed up with the different companies. Um, this one is national. This one guarantees the most that we give, and I cannot wait to tell you the numbers that we raised um, Lake County, y'all were able to take advantage of a lot of numbers, and I can't wait to share it with you. Enjoy your weekend. God bless. Thank you for letting me ramble. See you next week. Bye. Say bye to Kelly. <laughs>